Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, November the 29th. We're in Toronto here and uh, we're back in lockdown. I'm just looking at my uh, VHF antenna, which I've got set up on the balcony. And this morning we're going to do a quick scan of the VHF band using the RTL SDR uh, receiver, which is a very, very useful device and very inexpensive. So let's go inside and look at that. That's my coax. Now what we're looking at here is, um, there's the RTL SDR receiver, and this is a bit of a kludge, but I've got to go from a PL259 at the end of the uh, VHF antenna coax to a PL259 uh, female, and that goes to a um, PL259 to BNC, another BNC female, and that goes to the SMA on the receiver. So let's have a look now at the actual setup. So we're going to go around here. And right now we're listening to Toronto International Airport. So we'll switch over to the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, this morning, we're going to look at the um, VHF band. And we're going to start off at the uh, aircraft voice band. And the aircraft voice band goes from about 118 to 137 megahertz. So right now I'm listening to um, Toronto International Airport. Uh, it's the uh, control tower giving uh, various um, instructions about the status of the various runways. Uh, we can scan around the band. Let's listen to this for a minute. I'm using the um, SDR Sharp receiver software with the RTL SDR, which works very well. I'm also experimenting here with a noise reduction. I've got the IF noise reduction on. Let me turn it off. You can hear there's an increase in noise if I enable it. There's good correction there at the threshold, so I'll just leave it on for now. Let's scan around and see what else we see. There's another uh, frequency there. So that's an aircraft talking to a tower. These bumps are intermod products. Since this is such a wide wide band receiver, it's it's easy to pick them up. So there are a fair amount of signals here popping up and down. That's the Toronto City Airport, the weather frequency at the upper end of the band. Let's now go up to the uh, marine band. So let's go up to the marine band weather frequency. Now in the aircraft band we're talking about uh, AM modulation. When we go up to the marine band, we're going to be talking about FM modulation. So let's go to the. Um, let's take off this noise blanker. We don't need the noise uh, blanker as much with the FM. So that's what 162.55 is the number one weather frequency. Let's go to the uh, number two weather frequency, which you can see over here is quite a strong signal. I'm going to crank the gain down a little bit here, down to 10 dB. That's the weather two frequency. So you can see there's a fair amount of activity here. A lot of these are weather signals. Let's go down here and see what this is. Monday morning and afternoon 
That's also a weather uh, weather station. So you can see carriers popping up and down here on various uh, VHF marine channels. We can look at the AIS frequencies, but I'm too far away from the Toronto Harbor, I think, to pick anything up. So that's AIS 87B. Not too much happening there. And there's AIS 88B. Again, not too much happening here. But you can see how versatile the RTLSDR is. Um, you can you can receive aircraft uh, signals in the AM band from uh, 118 to 137 megahertz, and you can flip up and listen to the marine band. And if you're close to a harbor, you can also receive the AIS signals, which I covered in a previous blog post.